the best advice I could possibly give is to have a strong support team. Um, no one gets cancer alone. It affects everyone around you. And you need to be comfortable with the people that are driving you to appointments, with your physician, with your hospital. They're the ones that are going to get you through this. We can't do anything alone. The fact that I'm alive today is in direct relation to my support team. I was ready not to give up, but I was, I was tired of fighting and I was, I was sick and I didn't want to go through another trial and not waste time, but not use the time that I had left the way I'd like to use it. So when there was another trial available, my first reaction was, I don't think so. Um, but because of some very good friends that live in New York, they convinced me to try one more time. When I started the trial, I was unable to work. I was very fatigued. I had numerous uh, tumors inside my body. And I didn't think I would make it to the first treatment. But I did make it to the first treatment. And I just finished the 22nd treatment a few weeks ago. and. Today I was back for a checkup and I feel great. Over the last 20 months, I've gone from tumors sticking out of my body in various places to 95% reduction. Animals are um, part of my support team. My, my labs and my horses. When I was first diagnosed, I used to say I was going to be cured by galloping horses, one gallop at a time. And I, I think that helped a lot. But of course, along the way, I was too sick to gallop, but I was never too sick to go to the barn and pet a horse. There's no way that I can not feel guilty about the incredible support I've had. You know, how do you be forever grateful? I don't want the opportunity to repay them the way that, for the gifts that they've given me, but I, I want some way to repay them. Because of my support team, they were always encouraging me to try a trial that was available or a medication that was available, to eat right, to be healthy. And I, I did that for a long time, but there seemed to always be a recurrence. And seven years is a long time. And I felt guilty every time that they had to go through one more time what I was going through. So even though I wanted to be well, and I wanted to be able to repay the, the gifts that they had given me, at some point you, you feel like it might be better if you don't try again. I have used cancer as an excuse and my friends have used cancer excuse for the last eight years for us to get together. So if there were ever anything good to come of this, spending more time with your friends is a great excuse. Cancer has changed me forever, but if you just met me, you wouldn't know it. And I've said this many times, it's a horrendous way to have an incredible journey.